Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today is Monday. Remember, Superfilm Support here to help you out with your film questions. You can write to superfilmsupport.com and I'll pick up the phone and answer you on a video. This is super silly after three. Um, so today we have a question from Ted who's asking me, I have a Vista DX camera and I wondered why the hole off the lens board Copo Zero was offset in a lower than center position. This is this advantage when I start using rising front, especially with a wide angle lens. There are of course no bag bellows. So the off center lens board started with Linhoff because Linhoff cameras use the triple extension rail. So let's see if I can get this lens out of the way. You can see this super non Linhoff camera. This is Intrepid Mark IV Special Edition Black, which has the same Linhoff uh, lens board. Uh, size and what happened is with that lens board basically uh, they had to raise those triple extension a little higher which meant the lens wouldn't be centered with the ground glass so you weren't getting the center of the lens when you were shooting so you could have some vignetting or some issues so they made the lens boards have a hole a little lower what happens is a lot of other manufacturers maybe copied the design for Linhoff use but maybe on not on their cameras I would suggest that your first thing is try to see if the center of your lens board when you align the front uh, standard to the zeroing position is exactly at the same level, the hole with the ground glass. So you can measure that. Someone even said you could put like tape on the front and make a pinhole in the center and then see if it aligns. I don't know, you can check it out different ways. But if your lens board is centered with the glass, that's where it should be. If it's not, maybe you can also purchase. They sell lens boards on eBay for pennies and I'll leave a link below to the ones I usually use. They're very inexpensive, they come from China. They're not maybe the best, but they work fine. Uh, actually, this is a Chamonix one, which comes from China, but it's pretty nice. But do remember, do mind that the Chamonix ones don't come with a little indentation on the back, on the bottom and don't work on certain cameras. So I had to make this with a Dremel, little, you know, Dremel. So the lower ones that's what happens so you want to make sure that it's leveled and yes if you can't use back bellows it might be a disadvantage but as i said lens boards are 10 to 12 to 15 bucks you can buy them anytime with a center but make sure that it's the same level for the center of your ground glass if not you might be getting vignetting or you you know running out of circle if you're raising but it is a problem when you're doing like a uh, shift up or rise in large format, maybe architecture shots or something like that, you might run out of space with bellows. And the Vista DX is one camera that doesn't have the best bellows for that kind of stuff with wide angle lenses. So yeah, Ted, that's the reasoning. I did Google this because I had heard about it. But I didn't know the official answer. If someone knows better than me about the Linhoff reasoning, I might be 100% wrong. Do remember the super film support is me trying to answer your film questions. Not every time I know the exact answer and I love reading your comments. So feel free to go down to the comments. Let me know if I'm totally wrong. Let Ted know exactly what could be right. I'm always open. This channel is for me and for you guys to collaborate as a community, talk and answer each other. So yeah, that's super film support. Do remember this it works thanks to Patreons or donations. I'll leave the link below to patreon.com slash Nico's Photography Show. And yeah, send your film questions and I'll be happy to try to answer them here live on, well, semi-live on Mondays. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.